Joe Biden bad. I mean, Trump bad, Orange Man bad. All they had to run with. And that's what it was. But this story here, guys, this is from Fortune.com today. And guys, just to let you know, after the economy, the recession, shit, we are we basically in the recession. A lot of businesses are closing. A lot of stores are closing. Restaurants are closing. Shit is getting bad. Even though they're, they're these evil administration we, we're dealing with now saying like, oh, the economy's doing good. Oh, we added way more jobs, 200,000 jobs last month. See, the economy's doing good. We bringing in the jobs. We know it's all bullshit. Most of these part-time jobs and most of these jobs coming back from COVID. So they're not creating any new jobs. It's all old jobs. But most of these are part-time jobs that most Americans have to work at least a second or not a third part-time job to keep up with inflation. But hey, that's what it is. J.P. Morgan warns 86. They just get 86 million customers. They might have to start paying for their bank account. Oh, boy. God damn. <laughs> no more free checking, baby. Oh, boy. No more of that free checking. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boy, it's about to be a hard, hard time. Chase customers. Chase Bank customer could see additional charges in the not too distant future. Woo -woo. The Wall Street Journal reported the country's biggest retail bank is warning that it may begin charging customers for their accounts. That would impact over 86 million customers. Woo! Good Lord, help us all. Potential charges, said Link. Uh, Marita Lake, CEO of Consumers and Community Bank at J.P. Morgan, as a result of new regulation rules that cap overdraft and late fees. Kay said Chase would be passing along those increased spend expenses to customers, which will put an end to now free services, as a services such as checking accounts and wealth management tools. And she said she expects other banks will follow suit. Oof. So the new regulation that like, cap the late fees and over and overdraft and shit. Not only Chase, other major banks will probably follow through as well. So this is not just Chase. It's gonna be a probably a lot of the major Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Everybody's gonna follow through with this sooner or later. But Chase is probably the first one up because they're the biggest. The threat of charging for once free services isn't a new a new one over a decade ago many banks said they would add a service fee onto debit cards because of regulation changes few actually did though at the fear as consumers revolt this could happen again especially as consumers struggle with inflation and higher cost of living but it's not certain Woo! the new rules would cap credit cards late payment at eight dollars and, over, and overdraft fees at $3. New capital rules would allow, would also require that them to hold more reserves against mortgages and credit card loans, which could impact consumer loan potential, banks warn. It is not practical for many of these services to be free if we won't be able to draw from those profit pools, Lake said. Of course, whether those rules were going to affect could depend on the results of the November election. Donald Trump could strike them down or delay them or dilute them. And banks have brought lawsuits to prevent them from going into effect. Some of these cases are currently pending before ju for a judge. Woo. So now that they're putting caps to all this overdraft fees and all the crazy fees that banks used to have and charge people and shit like that. Now they want to take away the free checking accounts or the business accounts and shit like that. So these, so the evilness of our bank and our country and this this card house of cards of our financial system, it's gonna crash sooner or later, guys. And J.P. Morgan and these guys have been crooked and doing dirty shit for years like that. So now that the little game and system they have is robbing from fucking. People and shit like that for years, making billions of dollars, trillions of dollars. Now that the gig is up, now they may have to start charging people for simply having a checking account and and, and and debit cards. This shit is, I say, this shit is out of control. And it, and and the sad thing about it, 
they're the main one want to go to electronic, everything electronic. They want to get rid of cash. These are the same people that are trying to get rid of cash on hand, like physical cash. They want everything digital, everything online. And for what? So you can lock us into fees and paying for shit we got no choice to? Instead of having cash on hand where you can't touch and I have my physical cash to buy and do shit without you effing up shit? This is why this is why we get away. This is why we need to keep cash as much as possible. Physical, physical cash I can touch. If we do everyday digital, they're gonna lock, they're gonna start really screwing us over for fees and paying for this extra and we're taking it out and all this other shit. This is why we need a hard reset. This is why the crazy shit like that, these banks, our financial system, our economics, our economy and shit, it's been it been rimmed to hell. And we're paying the price because we the people, not convenience. We are worried about convenience of all this shit, of how easy it is and all this shit, and not look into how it's going to impact us down the road. Oh, it's easy and convenient, so I'm, I'm just going to deal with it. I don't worry about what the, what the, what it'll cost me or what it'll do to me down the road, later on down the road. But it's convenient and easy. We lived our life too much on convenience. We lost a lot of real skills because of convenient and easy. And that's what they want. They want us to be lean on convenient and easy. The real skills and real shit we needed have been gone, lost away, or we don't even know how to do it again. We don't lost that actual experience and, 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 and life skills and shit like that. But they want that. They did that on purpose, so we depend on them, depend on government. We always, we're dumb, young, and stupid. They don't want you to read. Oh, you don't need to read. You don't need to know math. Siri and Google do that for you automatically. You don't need to have to write in cursive, sign your name. For what? Just scribble some bullshit. Ain't nobody care. 